Hello, so I'm super excited to share with you all my workflow for creating a social media calendar. Um, if you don't know who I am, my name is Tyler and I am a social media strategist. Um, I run a social media management agency based in Atlanta, Georgia, and we work with brands and corporations all over the world, and I absolutely love what I get to do. Um, a huge bulk of our work is creating social media calendars, and I get tons of questions about how to do it, the best way to do it, how to make it easy. A lot of people are always, you know, talking about what to post and engagement and all that good stuff. So I have simplified my workflow um, extremely um, over the past four years, and I just have three steps that I use to create content. Um, it probably takes me about an hour at the max two hours to create 30 days of content. If you're newer, then it might take you a little bit longer, maybe up to even three to four hours. But once it's done, it's done. You don't have to wake up every single day and wonder what you're going to post for the day. Um, it's really easy to measure, measure results and to see what's working and what's not working. So here is my process. I'm just going to jump into it. As you can see, I'm already sharing my screen. Um, I want to show you what. So one of the tools that I absolutely. So let's just jump right into it. Um, I start off with. So let's just jump into it. The very first step is going to be your content calendar. So if you are a business owner, you should be planning out everything in advance. Um, to launch anything, I say you need at least 30 days, preferably 90 days to launch something new. Um, you should plan out everything at, at least 30 days in advance. I like to plan out things by quarter, and I love when my clients do that as well. So I'm just gonna I'm going to share with you what a um, count. I'm going to share with you what a content calendar looks like from one of my clients, and hopefully she does not mind. Um, she's super organized, and I absolutely love it. So this is what her monthly calendar looks like. And on this, it's just showing me anything that we have. Um, she goes live every Monday, any special emails that we have going out, any special events that are going on, if we're going live on Instagram, watch parties. Um, different things like that. We have different themes and our objectives for whatever the month may be. So after she sends me this, I then transfer it to um, the content calendar. So you can either create a content calendar like this, um, or you can do something like this, which is what I prefer. And if you need something like this, I do actually have this template available within my membership. So if you haven't already, definitely check it out. It's $29 a month. There's a lot of really awesome templates and tools and resources for managing your social media. Um, you can grab it by visiting the link in my bio. Um, so anyways, once I have that content calendar or if it's my content calendar, whoever it is, um, I'm looking at what sales we have going on, what promotions we, ha we have going on, if there are any special emails going out, um, if there's any, just anything that we need to be marketing on a certain day on social media, right? Um, we just had Juneteenth. It was a super powerful day. Um, if you have have a Black audience, that was a huge opportunity to educate them on Juneteenth or to promote something special. So you wanted to make sure you were taking advantage of that. You don't wanna scramble two days before or the day of to try to put something together. Um, you wanna have it all mapped out. So if you haven't already, I suggest that you plan out your content for the next three months and what's going on. Black Friday will be here before we know it, Cyber Monday, back to school, even if we might not even be going back to school, but still <laughs> you need to have something on your calendar. Um, of what you want to promote. And obviously these things are flexible, but you at least want to have something there. So you have a plan and a, and a clear objective. Um, so anyway, once I have that, I start inserting any other special holidays. Um, yesterday was like National Ice Cream Day or something like that. You want to obviously talk about things that are in alignment with your brand. Um, so I'm, I'm going to insert all of the stuff here and I might put the copy here. Sometimes I don't put the copy here and I'll just put it into my scheduler. But once I have all this mapped out, which this probably takes me 
a bulk, a majority of the time, it probably takes me about 30 minutes. Um, once I have all this mapped out, I'll go over to creating the social media graphics, which is number step two within my workflow. So um, the graphics for me are not, don't take me a ton of time because I have clear templates. So if you are a service-based, brand or even a product-based brand, you should have templates that you use regularly. Um, so these are just a few of our templates. The only thing that we really change out is going to be like the graphics and the quotes, the words. Um, we might have to create some new templates every once in, a, once in a while, depending on what it is that we are um, talking about. But, but for the main part, for the but for the most part, we're just using the same graphic, changing the words, changing the messages, changing the image to images within our brand board um, and doing it that way. It keeps things super simple so you're not always scrambling to create graphics and it keeps your feed very cohesive and aesthetically pleasing. Um, so don't overthink the graphics part. Uh, keep four to five templates that you're using for everything and just switch out things as you go. Um, if you are product-based, brand, then obviously you're going to be having a lot of photos of your product. Um, I recommend to switch out your products or take new product shots every quarter. Um, and I like to just store those in like Google Drive or um, Dropbox or something like that and plug them in where they're, where I see fit within the content calendar. So after I have created the graphics that correspond with the content calendar, I hop over here to Planoly and I upload everything here to Planoly. Um, after I upload it here, I'm going to schedule it in correspondence with the date of the calendar, obviously. And then I go to step number three, which is crafting the um, captions, so or the copy, whatever you wanna call it. So I just pop the captions or the copy in here. Um, Planoly is one of my favorite tools because you can add a your hashtags to the first comment and it automatically post. You're good to go. So once I plug all of this in, I don't have to double check to make sure it's post or manually post or anything like that. Like back in the old days, it just goes out for me, and all I have to do is monitor the monitor the post, um, reply to comments, and all that jazz. So. Like I said, this takes me about one to two hours max. Um, if you're newer, it might take a little bit longer. Um, I think that the most time consuming part is actually going to be the first step, which is the content calendar, because if you don't have that already mapped out, it's going to be really difficult to decide what you want to create content on. Um, one of the things that I really like to do with my clients as well is kind of create themes for the month. So for this client, in particular, last month, we did a theme of um, just self-care. Um, so a lot of the things that I was talking about and I created the content, it all revolved around self-care. Um, next month, we're going to focus on finances. So pulling a lot of content on that, and it makes it really easy. Um, an another thing that I like to do is that when I see great content or quotes or um, when I come up with a great caption or something that I want to talk about, I jot it down in my iPhone's notes or um, in Trello or something like that. So I always have lots of ideas. And then when it comes to creating a content calendar, all I have to do is pop it in. I'm not trying to think of ideas. And I know if you're like me, if you're an entrepreneur, you have your creative juices flowing all the time. And um, it's easy. The best thing that you can do is just write down your ideas as they come to you, record them into your iPhone, put them in your notes. And then when it's time to actually put the content out there, you're not scrambling to try to figure out like, what am I going to post? Um, and another reason why I like this method or this workflow is because you don't feel the pressure to have to create something different every single day or um, try to come up with new things. At the end of 30 days, I just reviewed the, at the end of 30 days, I just analyzed the calendar. I look at, I look and see what did what. So after 30 days, I just review the content. I analyzed and see what performed well, what didn't perform well, um, and whatever performed well, I'm going to create more posts like that. Um, I also like Planoly a lot because it tells you like what posts performed the well, the best, um, what had the best engagement, what had the best impressions, all that jazz. So 
I don't put any stress on myself to like monitor every single post and see what's performing the best. I look at it at a 30 day scope um, and then decide on what content to create for the next month based off of that. So, um, so yeah, that is my three step workflow. Let me know if this was helpful for you. And if you have any additional questions about either the content calendar, the graphics, creating templates, or the copy and how I create copy. Um, like I said, I do have a membership that kind of outlines a lot of those things and I'm adding new things to it every single day. So if you want to join that, if you want, if, so if you are a new entrepreneur um, or an aspiring entrepreneur, or maybe you're not too new and you just want to learn about social media, or maybe you have a social media manager or a VA and you want them to learn more skills and tips, um, I think my membership will be perfect for you. It's only $29 a month and you can join it by clicking the link in my bio. You also have access to me 24-7 to answer any of your questions inside our private Facebook group. So. Let me know if you have any questions. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys and I will see you later.